so how they've been doing. Good, they've been doing so good. After they got their shots, they all got it. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be doing a puppy update. If you watched the video where we went and picked up Bear, you know that he is a mini Labradoodle. He's from a litter of four boys and they all had black coloring. He was the only one with the brown on him and it's called a phantom Labradoodle. So I just wanna do a little update for you guys about what's been going on with him. He's like a little kid to us. He's a little bit over 10 pounds right now and I think he's done growing. He's like the perfect size. We love him so much. He's so fun. We didn't think he was really growing at all, but then looking back on the videos of him as a puppy, he's definitely grown a lot. He's learned so fast with potty training and just training in general. So it probably took us about a month, a month and a half for him to be completely potty trained. And we actually used a bell. So I would highly suggest this. I think it sped up the process because we tried it without the bell first and then once we got the bell, it helped a lot because he never barks so it helps him like tell us when he needs to go and once we got the bell and kind of showed him what to do he's been loving it sometimes he'll abuse the bell though like he'll ring it even if he doesn't need to go but he just wants to go play outside it's very helpful too we'll bring it to like our friends and family's houses and he'll even use it there so i think it's helpful for him to see it and know like oh if i need to go potty this is what i do so we really liked that i will link it down below and before we got him we read this book i will link it down below as well but it was super helpful with crate training and just helping with teaching him tricks here and there he knows four tricks right now okay bear sit lay down Shake, twist, <gasps> yes, good boy, yes, good boy. He's not very good at stay. That's something we still need to teach him, but every time we say it, he just runs away. We haven't taught him come or stay yet, but we did teach him his name really well. So like when we first got him, anytime we would say his name, we would give him a treat. And so now anytime we say his name, he automatically looks at us and comes to us. So we kind of used his name as a command and he's been really good. He's very obedient. If we're walking out and he, there's people around um, he'll and he starts running away, we can say his name and he'll literally come right back to us. He has been sneaking out though, so we let him out in the back to go potty and sometimes he'll just go and run around out there and it's fenced in so it's fine. But apparently the neighbors came over and he's been sneaking out through a hole in the fence and just been running around. He always comes back though, but we're gonna have to get some like fencing or something to put right there to stop him from sneaking out. We made sure to socialize him a lot in front of like people and other dogs just so that he's been really good and hasn't had any issues that way. So he's really gentle and fun with kids and he's just a sweetheart. We love him so much. We did some of his shots on our own and he was really good about it. And then we did his rabies shot at the vet. So he's all caught up on shots and we don't know if we're gonna neuter him or not. We've thought about it a little bit, but he hasn't had any issues because of it so far so i think for now we're good but if it becomes a problem we might end up neutering him but we have also talked about maybe studying him and then keeping one of the puppies just so he has a friend but i don't know i was surprised how much work training a dog is like 
especially potty training, like right before your breaking point is when they finally learn. But he learned so fast, so I can only imagine like some of the tougher breeds because I know poodles and labs just learn really fast. We've been a little bit crazy about treats and toys just because he's like a little human to us and we purchase all kinds of toys for him, but there have been some that he definitely likes and are definitely his favorites, so I want to share those with you. Um, this squeaker ball, he loves this. We have a couple different balls, but something about the spikes, he loves to chew on them. Ha, huh, you love this ball. It used to squeak, but he's chewed on it so much that the squeak now is broken. But we'll probably end up getting some more of these because he loves them. Ha, huh, you love it. The family that we purchased Bear from gave us this rope toy and he loves tug of war. It's definitely been beat up. It helps get a lot of energy out of him. And then more of a new purchase is this hedgehog thing. It's kind of weird, but it has like three little hedgehogs in it and it's called a burrow toy so they can like dig in here and pull them out and they squeak this one doesn't because he chewed it open and i had to stitch it back up but they squeak and he goes nuts over it they're so fun though so we'll just shove them in and he can like rip them out of there and just shove them in again and it's a fun toy for him i will link all this stuff down below and then i don't know if you watched the video where we brought bear home but he was super picky about his treats he will only eat cooked chicken but he does like little bone chews so we'll give him one of these every once in a while when he's being a good boy and practice his tricks a little bit but they're just little bones and they're dental bones. He's in that stage where he's losing a lot of his baby teeth and he's got some bad breath. So these dental treats have been very helpful. Right now we are working on leash training him. So we're trying to keep him so that when we walk, he stays on one side of us. Right now when we walk with him, he like goes all over the place and is crazy. But he's getting better about it and we've just been using the techniques that are in that book that I mentioned. And that's kind of what we're working on right now. Um, I haven't really worked on any new tricks with him just because I've been lazy, but I do want to practice some things like wait and stay and come with him, but we're a little behind on that, huh, Bear? But yeah, that's what's been going on with Bear lately. I just wanted to hop on here and share what's been new with him. Um, we haven't really talked to you guys about it since we got him, but it's been so, so much fun. It literally is the best thing ever and we love him so much so thank you so much for watching and i will see you later bye